Sullivan. 30 years ago, a child vanished in Jackson, causing panic in a northwest Jackson neighborhood. A little Daphne told us it was just seven years old in 1988. 12 News' Jay Biloxi investigates her disappearance. Seven-year-old Daphne Tulos lived here on Azalea Circle with her grandparents. On July 26, 1988, she left this home after getting into an argument with her mother over some fish sticks between 7 and 8 that night. I spoke with Daphne's aunt, Stephanie Tulos, via Zoom, who now lives in Washington State. I got home from work, and I saw my sister crying, and I was like, what's going on? She said, I can't find Daphne. Panic began to set in as the night went on and Daphne couldn't be found. We we scoured the neighborhood. We went over several blocks. We had several uh, people from the neighborhood helping us to search for her. The same morning she disappeared, the father of Daphne's twin brothers was released from jail. Daphne told a family member he had touched her inappropriately in June of 1988. Investigators weren't able to connect him to her disappearance. 33 years later, Daphne is still on the hearts and minds of people in this neighborhood. She was last seen heading south here on Azalea Circle. She vanished, never to be seen again. It was her grandmother's wish she would see Daphne again, but she recently died and still there's no trace of Daphne. We've had several um, times that we thought we had found, found her and uh, but it was it, it was not her. And so it's like it's heartbreaking each time you have to go through that. Um, but if she came home, oh, my gosh, um, that would be a truly a blessing. Years have gone by and time has not healed. I talked to Daphne's mother who broke down in tears. She asks for your prayers that one day she'll see her again. Jade Belexa, 12 News.